The first thing to know if you've heard that you might have macular degeneration is that you are not alone. Macular degeneration causes more blindness, and that's not a word that I or we use lightly in any way, but macular degeneration causes more blindness than everything else in America combined. So it, it truly is the big player when you talk about vision loss. Now there's a very specific population that's at risk of macular degeneration, and that group of people is, is inherent to the name of it, right? Because the official name is age-related macular degeneration, or AMD, and so it really is a function of age. So if you're less than 50 and you're told that you have macular degeneration, I would really sort of think twice about that diagnosis. There are a lot of things that can look like macular degeneration. Um, you gotta be 50 or above. So beyond age, the other major risk factor that's non-modifiable, right? We can't change our age. It's 60 to 70% of my risk and your risk and everyone's risk is simply who our parents are um, and what those genetics are. There are many human diseases that are simple genetics. One gene, you either have it or you don't. Macular degeneration is not simple genetics. There's currently no recommended genetic tests to determine if you're at risk of developing macular degeneration. They're being developed and I think eventually genetic diagnostics will help us gauge um, a person's risk of developing macular degeneration and also potentially the best treatment options for them. But we're not there yet. Thank you.